Hi everyone, my name is Leila and today I'm going to show you my best unisex designers fragrances uh, that I think can be equally enjoyed by both men and women. Um, I think you know that mostly the niche fragrances are marketed as unisex fragrances. They don't have any separation to men's and women's. Uh, however, the designers one uh, have this, has this classification and um, which I think is um, very theoretical and it's a pure marketing tool. So uh, I strongly believe that uh, it doesn't matter what gender you are, uh, if you enjoy a fragrance and it doesn't matter uh, if it's marketed for men and women, you should buy it, you should use it, you should be happy with it. So today I will just make it a little bit easier for you. I'll show you the fragrances that I think are easily can be enjoyed by both men and women and I can easily see that and imagine this fragrance on men and women so you just can buy one only only one bottle and uh, use it together with your partner so um, I hope you will like today's video so let's start I always like to start with the classical fragrances and in my today's list the pure unisex uh, classical fragrance uh, the legendary one the legendary Shipra is from Guerlain and this is Mitsuko. This is a very beautiful uh, old time, old, with the old school vibes, Shipra that doesn't even want to pretend to be a modern type of. Uh, Shipra, it, it definitely has old school vibes and it's still, it's very beautiful. Uh, it's timeless as always because it's a classic one. Uh, but to me, being so beautiful, at the same time, it's very sad. It's very melancholic, it's a bit depressive because it's devoted to a, a Japanese woman who is waiting um, for her beloved man from the war. So she, she's waiting from the news from the front line and they any second they can um, you know, come and they can be a very sad one. So that's why the fragrance itself is uh, quite sad to me. Um, I can't say that I use it a lot, but I can easily imagine it um, you know, on men on, or women and I know lots of people who uh, like this fragrance and those who use it. Um, it's, uh, to me, um, uh, this is very uh, green, um, mossy, a bit dusty, um, a bit fruity type of shipra. Uh, it's not typical, it's not uh, packed with oak moss, I would say. It doesn't have that typical dark uh, oak mossy um, uh, smell to it. It's, it's a bit different. It's more green, but at the same time, being so dusty, a bit powdery, a bit peachy, to me, this smells very sad. And not only to me, I think people who has this probably might agree with me. Just let me know in the comments down below. Do you agree with me that this fragrance is quite sad and melancholic? Just let me know. Um, so nice one. I have the EDT version and I think this is uh, still wearable and enjoyable by both genders. Uh, next one is about amber. Let's talk about amber. Uh, this one is Elisab's private line, boutique line. This is Elisab uh, Essence Number no. 3 Ambre. It's a very good, to my nose, alternative to Amber Sultan from Serge Lutens. And, and I enjoy this one much more than Amber Sultan because for some reason, to my nose, Amber Sultan is quite dark. It's very dark. This one is lighter. It's still dark because it's quite incensey amber. It's woody. It's um, raisinous. It's a bit sweet. I think this is sweeter than Amber Sultan. Uh, and it's it's very well blended, very round, very polished. It smells expensive. It has a beautiful, beautiful materials that are used, and you know, it's a high quality juice. Uh, and I can easily recommend this uh, if you like ambers. Uh, I can easily see this during the fall time or winter time on both men and women equally. Um, so a very beautiful fragrance with a good longevity, very good projection, a compliment getter. You know, it's uh, one of the best ambers I think that you can find. Um, and the other amber that is also good and to my nose is even better and I enjoy it more than the uh, Elisabs one. It's uh, from Dolce & Gabbana and also a private line and this is uh, Velvet Amber Sun. 
this is even sweeter it's full of sun the the name suits this fragrance a lot um, let's say if the elisab's amber is for uh, when i smell the elisab's amber i can imagine quite dark um, library full of old books the library in an old english house you know a big one uh, an old one uh, somewhere um, in uk surrounded by the forests ponds you know uh, and i can imagine that i this that mr darcy from pride and prejudice could wear that one the ellie Saab's one uh, but this one is the same library but with a huge window with a big fireplace for the fire like it's full of sunlight it's full of light it's very uplifting and optimistic so it's sweeter it doesn't have that much of incense and um, dark notes in it it's it's lighter and probably because of this sweetness i um, reached to this um, fragrance uh, more than the previous one but it's again depends on your own taste if you like more woody and darker fragrances ambery fragrances probably will enjoy more the previous one the essence number three by elisa if you like lighter um, the, the full of sunlight fragrances uh, sweeter with a lot of um, tonka beans and vanilla one probably you will like this one but this is amazing quality this is an excellent excellent juice um, yes in the store it's quite expensive uh, but I bought it online for $80 and I think this is a perfect price for this quality it's a top-notch quality I would say a high high-end um, fragrance so highly recommend it's a hidden gem i don't see many people talking about this on youtube so if you can find it with a reasonable price for the reasonable price i highly recommend you to try this one as well as the previous one as the amber number three by elisa essence number three sorry essence number three by elisa so uh, let's continue talking about the amber and this one is uh, from hermes and this is um, Elixir de Merve. Uh, so this one is also about amber, but it's a bit different. It's a very beautiful concoction of amber, citruses, uh, a bit of salt, uh, some woodiness. Uh, so very beautiful uh, fragrance that reminds me of holidays, probably Christmas, uh, New Year, because it gives that uh, you know um, pine the smell of the pine here it gives you the Christmassy vibes the oranges a bit of uh, sea salt as I said um, it's like if you were um, celebrating Christmas or New Year somewhere in the on the seaside in a small wooden cottage um, and on the other side is a forest it's very also sunny uplifting it's quite serious it's um, some sort of fragrance you can easily wear during the um, you know not only during the holidays but also if you are working in the office it's safe it's quite safe uh, it has everything there everything is there like the the technically it's well done very well blended high quality and uh, it has a very good projection and longevity by the way I didn't didn't say about the longevity and projection of the previous two fragrances it's top-notch it's all there it's very a, you know long lasting and projecting type of fragrances and this one is as well uh, but i would say that the projection and um sillage and the trail on the previous ones it's it's longer they are louder than this one this one is not that loud to me it's closer to the skin but it lasts a long time that makes it very safe for for office very nice one and the other one is not about amber but about leather and this is a classic leather um, Shipra. Uh, they say it's leathery but to me this is pretty much all about suede I would say this is the combination of to my nose uh, beige suede um, accord um, with uh, citruses and with the oak moss uh, with a touch of sweetness with a touch of vanilla uh, it has a dark bottom like all Shipra's do um, however to me this is not that dark um, it's it's not that like classical shipper to me no it reminds me of the beige um, 
suede jacket probably and I think this is a very beautiful unisex type of fragrance I can easily imagine this on both genders just because I think the leathery uh, not leathery it's a suede beige suede jacket can suit both genders men can wear it women can wear it it's 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 fine and uh, this one as well um, it's very uh, office friendly I would say because it gives you the class it smells very expensive of course this is a very high quality juice this is a Bottega Veneta and uh, it lasts long however it's not very loud it's um, some type of fragrance that people will feel it if they come close to you uh, it creates some sort of bubble it doesn't leave uh, long trails for sure so very beautiful high quality easily can be easily you know uh, enjoyed by both men and women and believe me this I think it, this is a type of high quality juice that can get you a lot of compliments uh, another one is a budget one still being a designer's uh, fragrance is quite a budget one this is from L L Lalique and this is Living so this uh, first of all the packaging I think it's stunning it's gorgeous the bottle is very heavy it's a high quality glass uh, I like uh, a lot the the, the 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 cap also it's very beautiful and the fragrance is all about lavender it's a very fresh very zesty um, very airy at the same time a mixture of lavender citruses it has a little bit of musk I think at the same time it's very fresh green aromatic it's a fougere type of fragrance I think can be easily you know enjoyed by both genders equally let's say this one is um, uh, marketed as a woman's fragrance but my husband wears it easily like no problems uh, to me if you are a man this probably will smell to you like a barber shop type of fragrance um, very enjoyable very beautiful high quality very well mixed again very round polished um, and for the price it's sold online like about 25 to 30 dollars I think this is a you know hidden gem uh, the only downside probably is it doesn't last long uh, however with that price I think you can easily refresh it during the day it's very uh, safe uh, blind buy I would say probably I can't imagine someone who doesn't like this type of fragrance and it's very office friendly very safe for the office um, because it's not that loud so um, it, it smells like a clean uh, shirt clean white shirt so I think this fragrance will be perfect for those people who wear something white even if you are a um, medical you know worker you work in the hospital uh, if you are a teacher if you are um, a waiter even if you are working in a restaurant if you work close with people um, not to disturb not to cause any you know um, problems not to cause any uh, anti compliments all that can easily give you the vibes of a clean skin clean clothes something really clean and taken care of that's that's the that this is how it smells to me personally and you know once we went to the restaurant and um, we had a waiter who um, I think he over sprayed some very heavy oud um, type of fragrance with the let's say very heavy loud oriental woody type of fragrance um, when he came close to us I thought um, this is not adequate to the place he works uh, the restaurant is not a right place for a waiter to smell like that and I thought in case if he had this fragrance on him I think it would be more suitable and I would never you know even think bad about that I will never ever criticize him because he would smell to me like a person who wears a, a clean white shirt um, he just freshly uh, showered someone who is very fresh and you know and clean and I think I would I would be just happy if someone who works close to me uh, would smell like this next one is also um, quite a budget fragrance let's say it's uh, not more than $50 I, I bought it personally for 35 here 
online on uh, Amazon and this is from Lalita Limpica or Lalita Limpisca. Um, this is a green lover. This fragrance is marketed as men's fragrance but I love it and I use it a lot together with my husband. This is a very beautiful you know, combination where the notes of uh, juniper berries, mint, um, citruses, um, uh, gin, um, to my nose also, I can feel some ginger there. Uh, you know, this is a juxtaposing of, of all these ingredients and it's done so talented, it's so well blended, so beautiful and being such a budget fragrance, I think it's a perfect. It's very uplifting, very holiday type of fragrance that will remind you of the uh, Christmas probably and not only I find this easily you know I wear it easily um, during the hot days it's very easy to wear you don't even need to think what you are wearing but this has lots of vanilla so it's not just gin and tonic it's uh, to me this is smells this smells mostly like a London dry gin mixed with a ginger ale but with a lot of vanilla and sweetness there but this sweetness is transparent this vanilla is transparent like the bottle itself it's not heavy it's not sticky it's not uh, syrupy no it's very transparent airy fresh um, watered down probably but in a good way vanilla mixed with a boozy notes of gin tonic um, it's beautiful uh, amazing very refreshing and sweet at the same time which is quite rare I think but very well done very well blended and I get lots of compliments especially from my kids when I wear this one especially from my son he says I smell like cake so this is quite a gourmand type of fragrance uh, but again easily easily can be uh, you know enjoyed by both genders equally so by the way being such a light fragrance like airy it's quite long lasting I can feel it from my um, shirt uh, the next day as well so um, yes I refresh it during the day probably once but uh, still for such a airy and you know fresh fragrance I think this is a great longevity it has a very beautiful trail and sillage very nice it's very diffusing type of fragrance you know people can smell you if you freshly spray it people everywhere will smell even uh, one floor down they will still Feel that smell so the next one is uh, let's talk about this fragrance it's also a budget one it's from Salvatore Ferragamo and this is Uomo and I like this one I didn't blind buy it I tried it in the store and I liked it I liked it a lot because this one is quite a gourmand type of fragrance to me it reminds me of latte um, it's like a sweet um, perfumey latte type of fragrance because I still feel some coffee there I feel the milk there but like not milk but the cream it's quite fat uh, like very yummy type of latte uh, with a, some vanilla probably or tonka beans in there yeah, and sort of like it, it's it's not serious at all you can I can't imagine this one in the office frankly speaking because to me this is not serious at all it's great to go to the pub to the cafe uh, some place um, that reminds you about the food about the drinks about the beverages some yummy ones and to me this smells like that I like to wear it at home by the way as well it has quite a good projection longevity technically very well done I can't say that this smells very expensive no because this type of fragrance um, to my taste never smells very expensive however no I think uh, let's say uh, intoxicated by Killian's it's about the coffee and cardamom it reminds me it's a gourmand one it reminds me of the uh, beverage uh, of the coffee Turkish coffee but that smells very expensive uh, this one doesn't but it still smells very pleasant I think you will get compliments um, with this one as well uh, and you see I used quite a lot already just because I like it and I think this is also some sort of hidden gem that can equally uh, you know be enjoyed by both men and women uh, though this one is marketed as a men's fragrance but I, I use it I love it together with my husband uh, 
the next one is we have this one let's finish with the first row and this is valentino uomo intense and i love this fragrance because this is a very beautiful dry uh, a bit dusty powdery iris mixed with leather it is gorgeous yes it reminds of dior Rome intense 2013 uh, but i think it has its own character as well um, and i personally prefer this one and i prefer this one even to the uh, modern version of dior uh, Rome intense uh, i like this more because for me this smell I, I like the smell itself much more i like the price i like the quality and i like the longevity for this one so it's a very beautiful fragrance uh, i enjoy it i like to wear it mostly during the winter and fall time so um very you know huge compliment getter if you are a man the most probably women will just adore you if you wear this one because women always notice this type of fragrance and if you are a woman the most probably it will smell very feminine on you um, i think this one smells quite masculine on the men and quite feminine on the women uh, very beautiful highly recommend to try still available and the next one is from tom ford and i have a men's version uh, it's noir extreme and i use it easily even though this is a men's version i think it's very very similar to the women's one they're quite similar and uh, why I bought this one? Because it has more cardamom and I love cardamom in the fragrances. And this also has the uh, note of the, the accord of uh, kulfi, the ice cream, the oriental ice cream. Uh, the one that I ate was with pistachios and saffron and it's very delicious. And this one smells very delicious to me. That's why I think it can easily, like being a man's version it can be easily um, enjoyed by the women as well and i wear it and i love it the only downside of this one i to me on my skin it doesn't last long for some reason um, however on the clothes it lasts the whole day i don't smell that fragrance on my clothes the next day but the whole day if you overspray yes you will smell like that to me this is um, mostly to go out type of fragrance uh, I can't imagine to wear this when I, let's say, go to the office or, you know, in some serious meeting. No, because it's, again, it's very fun. It's like uh, somewhere to chill out, maybe to go to the restaurant or the pub or uh, somewhere else. Again, good quality, nice packaging. Everything is there. This is Tom Ford, guys. So let's go to the second row and let's talk about another tom ford's um, fragrance and this is ombre leather um, and again i bought it for myself and my husband likes it also and we use it together this is a very expensive leather pure leather there is nothing sweet about this like in bottega veneta this is a pure leather uh, the the smell that you feel when you go to the um, shop shoe shoe shops like uh, the shops that sell um, expensive italian shoes men's shoes um, it smells like a new um, very expensive handmade italian high quality um, shoes men's shoes like a very expensive um, italian shoe shop where when you enter it you can smell this uh, yes, it has on the background some um, florals probably, um, but frankly speaking, all I can smell is leather, a beautiful leather, the le leather that I like. It's not very um, tough and rough and hard, you know, it's quite soft, uh, but at the same time, it keeps the form, it keeps the shape, you know, um, and I like it. I like the packaging, I like the smell itself the only thing that i don't like about tom Ford's fragrances is the price but i managed to find them online for uh, quite a good price and this is i think 30 ml no this is 50 ml and it's more than enough when you have such a huge collection like me uh, it's more than enough uh, to have 50 ml and enjoy it so we enjoy it together with my husband and i like this one by the way the longevity is good 
Um, I wouldn't say it has a huge trail and sillage. No, it smells, um, it, it creates a bubble around you, I would say. So the next fragrance is also a budget one. <clears throat> um, it's from the Rand Moschino. It has quite a tacky uh, bottle, I would say, but I like it. This is Toy Boy, uh, the fragrance that is marketed as a men's fragrance, but I think women can easily wear it because I love it. It's a very fresh floral. Um, it's about rose to me, uh, personally, with a pink pepper, with magnolia, with pear, um, with the notes of vetiver on the bottom that makes it dark. But to me, this is quite a unique concoction, quite a unique fragrance, smells very unusual. Um, it's not typical, it's not generic at all. This is uh, something that you don't expect when you look at this bottle. You don't expect this sort of fragrance when you look at this playful, you know, uh, and tacky bottle. The fragrance itself is quite serious to me. For me, this is a um, rose with a thorn. This is like a spiky rose. Uh, it's not sweet at all. It's quite spicy. It has the notes of vetiver but it has some tender side to it as well. Like it's a rose that can be enjoyed by men and women equally. This is some unisex rose. Uh, it doesn't smell similar like to me, like the Amouage Lyric Men, but it's that type of rose that both can wear, men and women, and men can wear this and feel masculine and women can wear this and feel feminine. So a very beautiful fragrance, very unique. I would say it has a niche quality to it for sure because it doesn't repeat uh, something else. It's something very different, very unique. Um, you need to try this before you buy it. It's not a safe blind buy. Again, being such a unique fragrance, such an unusual concoction, you need to try it um, for sure. I think it's, you can still find it uh, in the stores and online you can, I bought it for uh, $35 I think or even less um, like you can find it online for 50 or even less dollars and it's a budget type of fragrance but it has quite quality it's it has um, niche quality it's quite unique it has a very good technical characteristics like projection longevity trail when my husband wears this I can feel it you know, I can feel this fragrance every time he passes by. I can feel it when I enter the room and he's there. Um, so it has quite a, you know, um, I, I wanted to say visible, but um, you can feel that trail. You can feel the presence of this fragrance, um, not even next to you, um, but even with the distance, you know. Very beautiful fragrance, highly recommend to try for both men and women. If you like rose, if you like um, balsamic notes, if you like, um, you know, the dark bottom, like vetiver, um, and if you like to smell unique, not like anyone else. And let's talk about rose again. Let's continue talking about rose. This is from Gucci and this is Oud. Gucci oud, uh, but to me this is a very safe type of oud. Uh, frankly speaking, this is like a, a designer's oud, which is very pleasant, very soft, very subtle. Um, it's a mixture of rose oud, mm, pear. Uh, it has some fruitiness in it, I think, probably raspberry. Um, it's very pleasant, very mass appealing, very good compliment getter. Let's say when I smell, when I use this one, my my um, son straight away comes and says, oh, mom, you smell so yummy. Like, this is not overly sweet or too oody or something that you can't wear if you don't like uh, Orientals. No, you still can wear it. You can still can enjoy it. And uh, I think this is a pure unisex fragrance. This oud and rose combination is something typical for men and women and all kind of Oriental niche fragrances and this one is not um, an exception so um, I know that the this version Oud Intense um, is very um, enjoyed by men especially but I think this one can also be enjoyed by both genders by men and women 
it is it has some sort of gourmand notes because it's a uh, peri rose like the rose of the pear and pear here is quite sweet but at the same time i don't see anything overly feminine in this fragrance something that men cannot pull off you know it's very very good and very easy to wear being an oriental rose and wood combination uh, it's very easy you know to wear it uh, during the day it's i would say even um, office safe so you can wear it uh, if you don't overspray of course you can still wear it to the office like it's not too loud um, it creates a nice and beautiful bubble around you it lasts long uh, great longevity it has a projection it has a sillage but again it's um, it's not too loud it doesn't scream um, and I like it I like it about that and we continue talking about roses this one is also a designer's brand but a discontinued fragrance it's by Aramis um, perfume calligraphy and this is rose a stunning bottle i like the mm, packaging a lot this is a wooden cap it's made of real wood and uh, this fragrance unfortunately is already discontinued but you can still find it online for a good reasonable price and this is all about jammy rose but you know if you could make a jam out of rose but mix it not with uh, sugar but with a sweet um, raisins if the raisins could be sweet like honey honeyed uh, raisins um, that would be what this is this is like sweet jammy rose with the raisins with the incense um, with the, I think amber as well it's spicy it's beautiful it's gorgeous it's amazing and uh, you know I think this is some sort of masterpiece it's a very beautiful combination of rose and incense and raisins beautifully done high quality and again for the price that it's sold this is a hidden gem not so many people talk about this because this is not a famous brand I think this is the branch some sort of daughter company of Estee Lauder if I'm not mistaken um, and they created I think four or five fragrances and then um, they discontinued them and this is one of them uh, I also have from the same line I have saffron also very interesting and beautiful fragrance but I have to admit I like this one much more it's it's dark it's smoky it's jammy it smells very expensive yes it's oriental obviously however this is some sort of oriental that is very adopted to the european nose and can be easily you know um, understood very beautiful fragrance long lasting projecting uh, everything is there i can still smell it on my um, clothes even the next day and even the day after until you just wash it beautiful beautiful juice um, highly recommend this type of rose and again because it's so instancy and so smoky dark and jammy and raisinous it i i think men will like that one if you like rose if you're a man and you like rose you will definitely the most probably you will you will enjoy this one as well um, we continue talking about the rose and another one that is marketed as a woman's fragrance but i can easily imagine this or man this is eau de Moselle, the german she um, uh, and this is called essence de palais like a essence of palace uh, and this is also a dark smoky incensey leathery rose with a touch of sweetness it's very balsamic it's very mystical very magical it's dark it's sexy it's very sexy to my nose and when men wears this one uh, i can smell a lot of leather in this when i wear it on myself i can smell rose mostly like again this is a type of fragrance that on men will smell like manly masculine it will be a masculine fragrance on women it will be very feminine uh, i think this is a hidden gem it's beautiful it's amazing gorgeous dark it's like a poisonous rose dark leathery uh, smoky poisonous rose like if you smell this rose you will 
you'll get poisoned and but it's very beautiful it's very attractive very sexy uh, amazing quality long lasting projecting leaves a beautiful trail beautiful fragrance and another oriental fragrance uh, is from Valentino and this is Valentino Mira Assoluto a grey gorgeous bottle to me this smells like a sweet leathery mirror this fragrance is all about mirror and it's very sweet because it has I think a lot of tonka beans probably vanilla uh, and it has a leather accord it reminds me of this soft um, gray suede like the flower here um, the bottle is gorgeous by the way I like the bottle a lot this fragrance already discontinued but it's very beautiful yes it's oriental yes it's very loud by the way one spray and I think the whole floor will know that you wearing this one it's very unique it has definitely 100% it has niche quality because I don't have anything that smells similar to this in my 200 plus bottles collection very long lasting it you know it has a beautiful longest trail and people will notice this and people will compliment this and yes it's a um, very meditative type of uh, fragrance because a mirror is something that uh, reminds you of meditation calming down very you know relaxing type of fragrance very cozy at the same time very comforting um, but to my nose it's quite sexy I, I like this type of fragrances um, so if you find this one definitely try this out just it's a hidden gem to my nose it's top high top-notch quality excellent fragrance that I don't hear many people talking about this I hope you like this uh, fragrances I think they are quite unique not too many people talk about them and it makes them uh, hidden gems so um, I want to thank you a lot for watching me it's quite a long video I know but come on this is 15 fragrances 15 bottles I was talking about I tried to make it short but it's impossible um, thanks for watching me uh, if you haven't joined yet um, to my youtube channel and if you enjoy this type of content please do consider to subscribe and don't forget to press the notification bell to be notified about my next uh, release and um, I also invite you to visit my Instagram there I post the pictures of the bottles newly bought one uh, those that haven't you know yet appeared here in the video so uh, if you like the contest content of my Instagram please also consider to join it and subscribe um, and I wish you to have a great weekend a great next week and as always I hope a lot to see you in my next video see you bye